Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. Nothing ever lasts forever, so it was inevitable that at some point the high pressure that has been so dominant across the British Isles during the last few months would be replaced by low pressure. And it is over the next 10 days that we are expecting the most prolonged period of unsettled weather that we've seen so far this summer. Rain at times, not all the time, not everywhere, but certainly rain for everyone and cooler temperatures. The weather turning more changeable and that's certainly going to be felt across East Anglia in the southeast where during the first part of this week it's been so hot and sunny. Temperatures on Thursday afternoon mid-teens under prolonged rain. A slice of warm sunshine across central areas but blustery showers and cool temperatures across Scotland, Northern Ireland and Western shores. Zooming out a look at the bigger picture and we see low pressure over central Europe. This is responsible for the rain in the southeast and it is also a result of the marked contrast between cool air in the northwest and very hot air that we saw across southeastern areas at the beginning of the week now across central Europe. And that contrast is driving a deep area of low pressure into Scandinavia through Friday and into the weekends and very unsettled weather here. Now this isn't something we've seen a lot of this summer. We've had high pressure over Scandinavia and that's resulted in a lot of fine weather for the UK. Another thing we've not seen very often this summer, a strong jet stream that has been diving to the south of the UK. But that's what we've got on Friday. Through the summer it's been to the north. Now on Friday it's diving to the south, bringing cool air and bringing a mixture of sunshine and heavy showers, rain on and off for virtually everyone. But later Friday those showers disappear and we have a brief window of fine weather to start the weekend. And with that cool air, well it will be quite chilly in places. Low single figures across some sheltered Scottish glens. But look to the west and another low pressure soon arriving complete with weather fronts. And if we rewind the clock we can see the origin of this area of low pressure. It's out to the West Atlantic and this feature here is a subtropical storm named Debbie. Now you'll see a lot of warmth and humidity wrapped up in Debbie and it's not actually Debbie that gets swept up by the jet stream. It's this low pressure but it does contain within these weather fronts all that humid air and that results in rainfall. So after a bright start to Saturday in many places we'll see rain pushing into western areas and that rain then spreads across all areas later on Saturday and into Sunday. Not a great deal of rain in the southeast, certainly a lot of wet weather in the west, a couple of inches or more over western hills and for western coasts well the winds will really pick up through Saturday in particular. Nothing severe or exceptional but worth bearing in mind if you are planning a camping trip or heading to the coast some strengthening breezes on Saturday and into Sunday. But it's not going to be wet everywhere and that rain does arrive quite late in the southeast on Sunday. So a bright start to the weekend, quite a fresh feel, then turning unsettled with some particularly wet weather in the west along with that strengthening breeze. It will turn warmer though towards the end of the weekend in the southeast. But looking into the start of next week and well we keep low pressure with us at first. Sunny spells and showers on Monday and into Tuesday. And then take a look at this. The jet stream riding across the Atlantic and a marked contrast in temperatures. Quite cold air to the north of the UK and subtropical warmth here over the Atlantic. Now that temperature contrast is more significant compared to recent months and that's helping to fuel a revived jet stream and the jet stream of course acts as a conveyor belt for areas of low pressure. So an increased temperature contrast across the Atlantic, a strengthening jet stream through next week and more areas of low pressure coming towards the British Isles. Always heading towards the northwest, that's where we'll see the most rainfall. We'll also see some rain at times in the southeast, but perhaps warmer, more humid air at times as well. So uh, a changeable outlook into the rest of next week and it looks likely that we're going to see low pressure dominating the weather rather than high pressure. But it won't rain all the time, there will be some warm sunshine at times as well. Wettest in the northwest, warmest in the southeast throughout the next 10 days. Changes are on the way. A breath of fresh air for some, good news for farmers and gardeners of course, not great news 
for holiday makers. More information as ever on the Met Office website and you can track the weather where you are through the Met Office app and you can of course keep up to date with developments via the Met Office social media channels.